Hello, this is my park submission for the FA competition. It's not finished. So I'm gonna bear that in mind. So you will see the unfinished part. But yes, this is the uh, ticket booth building. As you can see, we've got some plants. That was a pain in the ass to copy and paste. So whatever you do, do not turn the tick speed up past zero, otherwise all hell will break loose. But other than that, yeah, there we go. And then we have the bog room for the staff. He's a sink, he's the bog roll, the bog, and the bog chain, which you use to flush. Alright. Then this is the main plaza. We've got a fossil display there with uh, the bins. And another fossil display of, I, I was thinking, Walking with Dinosaurs, Episode 2, Time of Titans. And then this is the fossil shop, so you can buy fossils. There is no cash register, nor staff. I didn't think about that. But we live when we live and we learn. Now, these are like little poster type things I if you this is a zoo you want to look at it is Blackpool Zoo they have these big metal like rectangles with like promotional graphics of the animals in the zoos that was my main inspiration all right and if you go around here this is an education stand so zookeeper can stand there blab whether they want to blab and a Confuciusaurus can come from up here and there, so it's like interactive, and then, well, I'm going to say, it. guests can come sit in. Now, all the way around here, this is the crocodile area. Heavily inspired from the one image I have of the Australia Zoo uh, crocodile thing. Alright, so, yeah, they're in here. The happy story, for some reason, you swim. But yeah, you can, st you can sit here and go, oh my god, Robert Irwin is an absolute G. And he's fighting these big things. Now, as you can see, played in our of time, so there's that stuff hanging about. But if you go over here, this is the Confucius Saunus uh, exhibit. Now, this was also inspired by the Lorikey exhibit at Blackpool Zoo. So, if you want to go around here, you can see the doors. We can go in. There's, He's not in here, I promise. But there we go. There's a walkthrough exhibit. All right, with a bit more like world editing and all that joyous things. I had to put these down because they were drowning, and I had to change the plates with buttons because they kept escaping. But yeah, you see, we got that. And then this is the Velociraptor exhibit. Uh, I I kind of got went with like one image I had of the Vulture exhibit. But yeah, you come in here, you got more promotional like banner rectangle things seats bins and you can look inside and uh, we are actually going to go inside of it but you can see there we go kept it all like accurate the best i could all right and then if we go over here this is like the final bit uh we've got a bridge over here and then here's the first uh building i did not finish all right uh i ran out of time so this was going to be I get like a food stall shop, so you'd have like different stalls for food. That was the idea. Unfortunately, I get done with it, but I kept the build consistency to some degree. And here's the fence, and you could see the next part that was not finished, but we'll come back later. This I managed to finish. It is a horrendous looking building, and honestly, but I thought it'd be cool to have an archaeology house where like we show off all the stuff, as you can tell everything like the best i could all right that was a pain that is an arm stand on a slab but we got the job done in the end but yeah that's all that and then if we have a quick run over here uh this is the ferrazinosaurus exhibit i didn't really know what to do in all honesty and the only thing that was popping my head was nigel marvin but i was like i can't really do a course line unfortunately so that is what we're working with and then like there's a little stand up here and you can go stand there and go oh my god look at that big feathery claw creature if it had its hands on me it would kill me but like that's your imagination and then this is the smilodon exhibit uh based off like big cats exhibits at zoos and all that uh, i forgot to put plants on here as uh, once again but as you can see you can come in look at the glass and go oh my god that is a dead cat that's alive again but there we go. I try to do more like animal enrichment stuff. So you, you go up and round over across and then cut across here. I do not know where my big cats have gone. 
Oh, they're all here. They're trying to get out. But look, there we go. And I thought I'd be cool to have like a little built-in water feature. Now, here's the worst part of the entire park, and honestly. I had this big area, and bear my eye, I've been rushing this for the last two-ish hours. I've only managed to get this done. So, there is Gallimimus, there is Brachiosaurus, there is Parasolophilus. And there's a lot of trees. Uh, I would have got this done if I had a bit more time, but... No, I, I was already at my will's end of some, like, the seventh degree, let's say that. See, I told you it would be a escape piece, I just saw a couple future songs about. But, yeah, that, that's it, really. Here's the fence, I, I'm going to be honest with you, I did try to do, like, giraffe fencing, it just did, didn't work out, didn't work out. Anyways, that is my build. Oh, lord, that was disgusting.